Hello there. Today I am going to discuss libertarianism and other similar ideologies and explain why they are completely dysfunctional. In the background you will see the pretty animation I made for my Google Plus page. <sighs> so that, um, well, we have something to look at. So it's not a uh, still image, though it is quite repetitive. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, let me move my mouse, that way it's out of the way. So, libertarianism. Why doesn't it work? Well, it's simple. What is libertarianism? Libertarians believe that it is immoral for the government to have really any power. They view taxation as probably one of the worst things in existence. Even if taxation is like 1% of someone's total income throughout the year, they'd still say, oh, it's too high. The government should not have the right to do this. It is, it is theft. Yeah, that's what libertarians always say. They say taxation is theft. Uh, basically, this all means that libertarians oppose the existence of governments. They are a lot like anarcho-capitalists. You see, there are people who argue that they that these so-called libertarians like governments and these well a very a very small number what should I say that they somewhat like governments though but they mostly hate them like um, how, about, how about this libertarians can like governments as long as they're extremely weak and ineffective so basically like, they hate governments. They, 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 they just completely hate governments. Because a government that is small and weak and ineffective, well, it's not really much of a government, is it? And, you know, if you get a government with some power, they'll hate it. And, yeah, they'll say it's the worst thing in existence, stuff like that, you know. And if you like a government, or at the very least, if you would prefer to have a government rather than a an, um, a state of anarchy, if you will, then um, you're a statist. And if you're a statist, well, it means you're um, some sort of acquiescent drone, if you will. I mean, that's, that, this is the belief libertarians have. They believe governments are terrible. Unless they are weak and ineffective. And taxation to them is the worst thing in existence. It is theft. So, I mean, I mean these people, these people are really funny. And um, whenever they describe governments, why they hate governments, they, they like to say that governments have a monopoly on violence. <laughs> they have a monopoly on violence. Therefore, governments are bad. And they always, they always say, the U.S. was once a great nation, and now it's a sh now it's a socialist shithole. Blah 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 blah. That stupid car. Anyway. That wasn't mine, by the way, it was someone else's. I don't know what the fuck happened. Eh, irrelevant. Anyway, continuing with, continuing with this. So these libertarians, basically, along with the anarcho-capitalists and people who follow other similar ideologies, these people don't want there to be a government. Unless it's weak and ineffective, then they'll say, oh, it's fine. But they'll say that just because it, it's weak and ineffective. Yeah, it won't even be a government because if it's weak and ineffective, or what type of government is it? It's like it's like saying Somalia has a government. Somalia, <laughs> no, it doesn't have a government. 
still lawless. So, no, no. But, yeah. So, first of all, these so called libertarians, they oppose to the creation of any government. And as far as existing go uh, governments go, they want to dismantle them, they want to destroy them. They want to completely eradicate all governance. And they do this, they, they want this to occur so that they can have maximum freedom. That's what they say. So uh, this is exactly why their ideology is so stupid, so dysfunctional. It doesn't make any fucking sense. If you take away the government, you cannot have a functional society, okay? I mean, I know, I know. If you're a libertarian watching this, or at least listening to this, because you've gotten bored of the repetitive animation, ha, you've probably skipped past a lot of this, since it's just a bunch of mumbling, and I haven't really gotten to the good part yet, but, yeah, if, um, <sighs> yeah, they, um, if you're a libertarian watching this, you probably hate me for saying this. You've probably already posted a comment where you called me a statist, a megalomaniac, a control freak, all that other crap. All those other stupid terms you use to describe rational people. Yeah, here's the thing. If you um, dismantle the governments, if you destroy them, if you eradicate them, um, you won't get functional societies. In fact, you'll get even worse societies. Just look at Somalia. I mean... Somalia doesn't have a fucking government. Look how powerful. Look at, look at how fucking great it is over there. Just look at the immigration. I mean, people want to move to Somalia. It's it's fantastic. Somalia has no refugees. I mean, people are just going there left and right, up and down. You know, whatever way they can. Now, I heard some people are trying to drill a hole from their country so they can drill one into Somalia so they can use that as a tunnel to get in there. I mean, dude. Holy shit. And then and Somalia has to invest a lot of its money into having secure borders just because people want to move there so badly. It's that great. <laughs> oh, you fucking stupid anarchist. Because that's what these libertarians really are. They're a bunch of anarchists. They're like anarcho-capitalists. That's why, uh, that's why uh, during the summer of 2014, Alex Jones happily invited Stefan Molyneux onto his program, because they see eye to eye on things. They agree with each other. They are one and the same, as far as ideology goes. It's just they use different terms to describe themselves. Oh, sorry, something popped up, you won't see it though. Anyway. So, they, they don't want a government to exist. Now why? Now why? Why the hell is it so? Why, uh, why? Why does society just stop working whenever there is no government? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, there's no fucking law. There's no order. There's nothing. There's, there's just people doing whatever the fuck they want to do. I posted a comment with my Jonah Beast account on the libertarian community, where I asked them, "What would what company would you form once we uh, remove?" the government. And I said, I would start a company called Organs R Us. And Organs R Us would supply organs to customers. And the way I would obtain those organs, the way I would procure them, is um, I would capture a few, uh, you know, a few perfect humans, if you will, perfect, quotation marks, not exactly perfect, but you know, certainly better than you know, the general human, you know, these really, really tall, healthy people. I would capture some of them, and then I would force them to breed with each other, okay? Uh, they'd basically be like dogs, you know? And then all the bad children they produce, I would put out of their misery the moment they're born, and then the good children, I'd raise them up to a good age, you know, I'd feed them, I'd, I'd happily feed them, so they grow up big and strong. And then, on one day, I would put a bullet through their head. I would skin them alive. I would 
tear off all of their organs the heart, the liver, the kidneys, the pancreas, you know, all the organs, the stomach. I take away the eyeballs. I take away large portions of the skin. I would rip the meat off the bones. I would keep the bones too. And I would sell all of these things. Oh, you know what? In fact, I wouldn't even put a bullet through the head. What I would do is I, I would hang them upside down. And then I would slit their throats. That way, all the blood. And, th and then I put a bucket below their head. That way, all their blood gets on the um, in the bucket. And then I'd sell the blood as well. You know, because people need blood. <laughs> and of course, I make sure to identify which blood type it is. And I would sell these organs to people. You know, if someone is in need of skin replacement. I would happily sell them skin I procured from one of my, uh, you know, from, from my human property, if you will. And the reason why I would be able to run such a business would be, ca would be because government regulations wouldn't exist. I would be able to kill people, harvest their organs, you know, without really ever worrying that my operation would, put it, would be put to an end because the government wouldn't exist to stop me. And then of course they would say, well, the people would rise up against you and they would put an end to your immoral acts. And I laugh at them, I say, no, you fucking idiot. I'll just say I developed some technology where I can use stem cells to grow fucking organs. And then I'll keep my research facilities and my production facilities completely closed off to general access by you know, general people. And I, I would just use, you know, disinformation. I would use propaganda, I would say, um, for a better world. A world where people can have organs at will. If you're an old person and you're in need of a heart, you can get one from me. Well, yeah, I basically said I could, run an organi uh, I could run a business where I make a living by killing people, basically. Selling their organs. And um, one person responded, he gave me a really stupid comment, I'll post the, um, I'll post the post in the description below so you can see it. And it was so funny though, because he acted as if I have to behave, you know, the way I would behave now. And it was so funny though, because if a government doesn't exist, I wouldn't have to fucking do any of that shit. You know, the only reason why I can't start a business like that right now is because the government prohibits me from doing so. If I tried to do that, I'd be put in jail. Uh, probably for life, actually. And suppose that, um, and then I, it wouldn't even be profitable because no one would buy my stuff. I'd have to sell it in the black market. So I'd have to deal with that. I wouldn't be able to sell them to any hospitals or anything. So, you know, I would have to find contacts in the black market. And then more than likely, the black market is already dominated by somebody. So, no, I wouldn't profit at all. So I'd go to jail with, uh, broke, basically, for life because of the government. The government is preventing me from doing this. You see, this monopoly of violence uh, is preventing me from killing people and harvesting their organs purely for profit. And then let's talk about another thing that, you know, so already, you know, these corporations, these companies, they, they, they won't work in the best interest of the people. And then as far as uh, wages would go, the people that work, that would work at my Organs or Us company, I would give them really, really shitty wages. I basically say what Putin said about uh, immigrants to Russia. Russia does not need immigrants. Immigrants need Russia. Therefore, we can do whatever the fuck we want, and if the immigrants don't like it, then you can go away. I basically say, you see, I don't need workers. The workers need me. Therefore, I can pay them as much as I want, I'll give them really shitty wages, 
And if they don't like it, well, they can go find employment elsewhere. Yeah. Because you always see fucking libertarians always posting that quote made by Putin. They're always posting it. They're like, yeah, this is so awesome. And, you know, I agree with it somewhat. You know. I'm not saying I oppose that, but that's what I would do. Of course, if I told it to a libertarian, he'd get really mad. He'd say, what? No. You're supposed to adequately compensate him for his labor run. I'd say, no, you fucking retarded. There's no government to tell me to do that. I wouldn't do it. Why the fuck would I? It's retarded. And, then, uh, and that's just like one example of a really bad company. Now, of course, I'm a moral nihilist, so it doesn't bother me, but it basically bothers everyone else in existence. Few people are moral nihilists, so most people would oppose it. But, you know, what? Well, uh, you know, another company I could start would be, mm, like, Meats for You, something like that. And what I would do is, um, I would produce animals in large quantities, and, um, I'd mistreat them. So if you ever watched a slaughterhouse video, yeah, it'd be worse than that. You know, I'd do stuff like, um, before I kill the animals, I'd get workers to beat the shit out of them, so I could tenderize the meat. And, um, I'd give the animals the worst possible food, and any animal that comes to, you know, disease, I just put them in a machine that grinds them up. I'd combine, you know, good, high quality, if you will, <laughs> uh, meat products, and I'd combine them with the low quality crap, and then I'd also combine it with fucking shit from like rats and stuff. I'd grind up the rats in there uh, with them as well. And um, I would just sell like really crappy meat. And then I, I would sell this to people, you know. And that's that's what American uh, meat companies were doing in the uh, 1800s, in the late 1800s and early 1900s. They were selling like shitty meat to people. And in some cases, it literally was shitty meat. It had fucking shit in it. Okay. And that's because the governments didn't regulate them. I would be able to do that again. I'd say, fuck yeah, dude. The government's gone. Now I can sell shitty meat to people. And if they don't like it, well, you know, they can go fuck themselves because everyone else is now going to do that. And then, of course, I'd also add a lot of other filler crap so I could maximize profits because it's all about money. That's the thing about capitalism. It's all about the money. Fuck morals. Fuck giving people high-quality products. It's all about the money. You know? And so already, you know, with no government, you would see shitty companies left and right. And then they'd say, well, somebody would start a good company. And then this person would compete. And he would become successful. And people would have access to good products. And that's, well, let me get to another point. Another reason why the stupid libertarianism doesn't work because factions naturally arise, okay? If there is a vacuum of power, um, you know, it's going to be filled eventually. And um, if you can completely destroy the government well, then it'll be filled by a bunch of fucking factions, okay? And these factions, they won't abide by the same laws as each other. So they'll loot each other, they'll loot companies, they'll loot individuals, it'll cause nothing but misery and chaos for each other and so that, yeah, that's another thing if someone does start a good company we just loot it we would go into his factory or um and then we just take everything or if we just feel like being douchebags while he's building the company we would shoot at all the workers we take away all the raw materials we kill the fucker as well you know and then he'd say, well, well, the police would stop you. And I'd say, you fucking retarded idiot. You destroyed the government. The police doesn't exist. Who the fuck is going to stop me? No one. Not you. You certainly won't stop me. Or what, you think your fucking pea shooter is going to stop me? You're retarded. I already are myself. Because that's the thing. If you remove the government, the fucking police is gone. And if there is no fucking police, who the fuck is going to enforce law? 
from no one. They say, oh well, well some people will have good morals and 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 they'll do it for free. And I say, yeah, right, right. Well, if they well if those people somehow manage to exist, we'll just kill them off. We'll do whatever the fuck we want because the government won't exist to stop us. And this is why your stupid ideology is, well, stupid. I mean, first of all, the companies, they would all be shitty. Not a single one of them would be good. You can blame companies are bad now because of taxation and all the regulations and all this other crap. See, um, no, no. Uh, taxation is actually a good thing. You know, it's the reason why I am able to record this video, for example. You know, without worrying that someone is going to break into my house and kill me. Because anybody who wants to do that already knows that if they do that, uh, they'll probably just be sent to prison. They, they, they'll probably get away with it for like a day. The police will find them. Okay. And so they wouldn't even bother. They'd just say, well, why the fuck would I do that? Why the hell would I, why the hell would I kill the owner of something to appease Google? If it gains me nothing, and they won't. That's why no one is attacking me. That's why I am so calm. <laughs> no one's going to fucking kill me right now. Because the police wouldn't allow it. And if someone does do it, well, the person who did it is going to be penalized. And then he'll serve as an example to other would-be criminals that, um, you shouldn't be a fucking criminal, otherwise you'll be penalized. But whenever you take away the government, well, that won't exist. You'll see criminals left and right doing whatever the fuck they want. Why? Because you took away the government. You destroyed the evil monopoly of things. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, no. You took away the monopoly on that. So, yeah, that'll solve the fucking world's problems. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, people are just supposed to have a sense of morality. Bullshit. You guys are really funny. I mean, you stupid libertarians. You know, I'll give you credit for one thing, you know. To delude yourselves into thinking you're such fucking stupid. Just, I mean, I'm cues to you for being able to just... To actually think something like libertarianism would be able to work. I mean, just, you know... Thank you for, for all the laughs I've had. I mean, I've already laughed a lot, which is why I'm not laughing right now. Because there are people who literally believe that this crap can work. It's so fucking funny. I mean, factions naturally arise. Companies are going to be really fucking shitty. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. And then, of course, all these libertarians, they're always these, um, these they're always people that say, oh, well, we'll have guns to protect ourselves. Well, you know what? The companies that would supply guns would also be really shitty. They'd skimp on quality. They'd use really crappy metal. They wouldn't shape it properly. Yeah, you'd, you'd basically be given, like, these really just crappy weapons. Do you know why? Because they don't give a fuck about you. If they make any good weapons, it's for themselves. Or for their friends. Which would be themselves anyway. You know. So you're just going to get a really shitty gun. And in fact, these people that make guns, they probably wouldn't even sell guns to begin with. You know, let's, let's, let's think about this. If they make guns, they'll invest all their resources on making guns. And then they'll put those guns to use. They'll raid other people. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they, they make perfect factions. They'd be able to make their own guns. They'd be able to take resources from other people. They'd become successful. I mean, I mean, do I really have to say any more to just make you realize how stupid libertarianism is? It doesn't fucking work. If you take away the monopoly of violence, or the monopoly of violence, whatever the fuck you call it, uh, it doesn't get any better. In fact, it gets worse, arguably. Now, I personally think that would be cool, though. No government doing whatever the fuck you want to do. That, that sounds fun. You know, and then, of course, there's a higher chance I die. But, you know, it's alright though. I mean, life is pointless anyway, so I don't really care. Meh. 
So this just sounds like a lot of fun, you know. But what's funny though is the the way we interpret it. You know, the way I describe it, it sounds like fun to me, but to you it sounds like total fucking hell. And that's because it would be hell to you. So I really am just wondering how the fuck can you support something that you don't even like? I mean, ah, oh, I mean, you, you libertarians, you people are so fucking stupid. How the fuck can you be stupid enough to believe in that crap? And then they always talk about private property. <laughs> yeah, okay. The reason why you're able to have private property is because the monopoly of violence that exists, the government, uh, says uh, person A, person B already owns that plot of land. Therefore, you can't have it unless you buy it from him, but he's not offering it for sale. So you, fuck off, don't go to person A's plot of land unless you get a permit from him, or if you get permission from him. And then person B says, okay, okay government, um, let's say I did go to his uh, land, uh, what will happen? Person A will be at liberty to call us, and we will imprison you. Oh, okay, says person B. Uh, yeah, I'll go there. Okay, bye. Okay, then. You see, the reason why you're able to have private property is because the fucking government allows you to, you morons. You always say, oh, the government, they just, they, they, they take away our service, taxation, blah, 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 and, and nationalization, and... And all this other crap. Oh, it's so bad. And then expropriation too. Oh, the worst thing ever. Uh, no, you fucking morons. No. The government is what allows you to keep private property. You think owning a fucking shotgun is going to... I mean, you think the reason why you have a plot of land is because you have a shotgun? No, it's because the fucking government allows you to own that land. If you take away the government, I could come in there with a fucking tank and kill you. You know, I'd go to the fucking army depots. I'd get myself an M1A1 for Abrams. Uh, I'd fill it with fuel from a nearby um, fuel station. I'd take a shitload of that fuel with me. <laughs> through whatever means possible. You know, I'd have a bunch of friends with me, you know. I'd form a faction myself. Okay. And uh, we, would, we would be in this convoy of tanks and and lorries and we, we just carry we just carry a lot of fuel and, and food and stuff with tanks, we'd have armaments, stuff like that, you know, we just go to the depots and get everything. And um you morons I claim to finally have your private property and no taxation. We just go to your fucking land and uh yeah we'd kill you. We'd take your land. Um if you have any daughters, um any attractive ones, uh We'd rape them, or uh, we'd take them as concubines, and if we liked them enough, we'd probably marry them. Eh. Oh, and then, of course, you know, they want, the good thing about the state being gone is divorce is um, not really effective for the women. You know, since we'll be the ones with power, we'll be able to say, yeah, hey, bitch, you can't take my money. So, you know, I will agree with you on that. <laughs> uh, but you probably hate me so much, you probably wish the government did exist so that your stupid girl, stupid daughter would be able to take away my money. <laughs> well, nope, not in this scenario. Not in the scenario you wanted, because governments are bad. Really bad. Oh, and you fucking morons. You people are so stupid. I mean... <laughs> so fucking easy to refute these points. You people are so fucking stupid. <laughs> Can you imagine though? <laughs> oh, like, uh, my friends and I, and then, and then my friends' friends, we all get together, you know, we form a faction, we raid an army depot, we take away their stuff, we carry fuel, and food, and tanks, and other armaments, we just carry around, we carry them with us, and, you know, and we just go places, and then we find this fucking redneck with a 12-gauge shotgun going, my property, my property, 
nobody can take my property. And then we just fucking drive a fucking tank up to him and we say, you want me? And then of course, he defecates himself in fear, and then we shoot him in the head. Right, no, we shoot him in the fucking feet, you know. Yeah, yeah, we, we shoot him somewhere. Right, no, no, even better. We tie him up, and then we just let, like, fucking animals get him at night. And then if he has any, like, family members, we take them, we kill them, we do whatever we want with them. You know? And if we have some gay guys in my group, eh, you know, it's a possibility. Uh, yeah. If you have, like, a, a, a son, the gay guy in our group will rape that guy. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, if you have daughters, then the guys in the group will rape her instead. Oh, and if you have several, oh, well, thank you. And then because the government doesn't exist, you won't be able to, you know, send us to jail. The only way you'll be able to avenge yourself will be if you can form a faction of your own. Or if you're a badass and can take down an entire faction single-handedly. But we'll probably just kill you, that way we don't have to deal with you. And then, of course, we wouldn't be penalized because the government doesn't fucking exist in that scenario. Oh, and another reason why the stupid libertarianism doesn't fucking work, okay? Foreign governments, foreign countries. You see, I was on this website, this website, most likely created by libertarians, given the, 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 the opinion, the general opinion that was presented throughout the entire article. It was an article regarding um, the U.S. government and how it has grown in size throughout the years. This website saw it in a very negative manner. And so, of course, if that is the case, then of course it was written by right-wingers, especially probably by libertarians, anarcho-capitalists, people like that. And they kept saying, oh, it's such a bad thing that the government keeps expanding and expanding. And I just laughed. I said, wow, you're retarded. Okay. Do you want to know why the U.S. government had to expand? It's not necessarily because it wanted to, though. I mean, in a way it did. Because, of course, greedy capitalists and um, a powerful government, you know, fascism, they'd be able to take advantage of that, so they did that. You know, according to Stefan Molyneux, the reason why there's a water crisis in California is because the state propped up something it shouldn't have propped up. It said that farmers started farms in the desert, and the only reason they did that is because, it's because the government provided water to those farmers at, at low cost because it subsidized the prices. And he basically just sort of putting all the problems on the government. Now, technically speaking, it is the government's fault. But why the fuck did the government do that? Well, it's simple. It's because greedy capitalists hijacked the government. Duh. Greedy capitalists hijacked the fucking government. And whenever they did this, they profited in the billions from selling agricultural products. If you grow strawberries in fucking California, um, more than likely, if you do that, you know, and like you own the farm, you're, you're uh, by definition, you are a capitalist. And if you're using the government to make that possible, then you're a fucking greedy one too. Greedy capitalists own all the farms over there. They're all privately owned. They're all owned by greedy capitalists. Greedy capitalists hijack the system to profit from it. It's that simple. But of course, if you tell that to a libertarian, they will deny it. They'll say, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. None of us can get greedy. That's just that's just a, a myth perpetrate, uh, perpetuated by the stupid leftists. Blah, 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 blah. Even though it's actually true. But oh well. The point is, though, the reason why the U.S. government has been expanding is because it had to compete with socialist countries Whenever the space race started, the U.S. government at first wanted to use corporations to send men to space. But when the corporations said, well, we can't profit from doing this, you know, if you don't provide us with any funding, 
Though it is the fact that um, we cannot profit from this, unless of course you give us money, we're not going to do it. And so then the government said, ah, oh, fuck, I have to finance all this crap. And so the US government was forced to expand. It was forced to start NASA. The reason why NASA started is because companies wouldn't send men to space. In order for the US to compete with the Soviet Union, as far as the space race goes, they had to adopt socialist principles, socialist policies. I mean, if the government fucking finances a space program, that's fucking socialism. The government had to expand its power because there was no other way to compete with the Soviet Union. Uh, I mean, whenever the Soviet Union sent Sputnik into space, the Americans were just shitting themselves. They, they, they were shitting themselves. They were scared. They're like, oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. The Soviets, they already sent a fucking satellite into space. And then whenever Yuri Gagarin went up there, oh, they shit themselves again. They're like, fuck, they did it again. They beat us. Government, why the fuck aren't you doing anything? It's like, uh, we would, I was created under the principle that I'm supposed to be very limited. And then the people are like, what? No, national pride is at stake here. National security is at stake here. Are you serious? You finance a space program immediately. And the government said, okay, 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 I'll do that. And then, and so you see what I mean? In order for the fucking government, or the US government, to compete with the Soviet Union, it had to adopt socialist principles. That's why the government has been expanding. In order to compete with socialist countries, it had to become socialist itself, because capitalism is inferior to socialism. Do you see that? I mean, um, whenever the Soviet Union uh, started giving away uh, free uh, medical care, to its uh, citizens, the US government had to follow similar policies and had to say, oh fuck, those Soviets are giving their citizens free health care. Shit. Shit. Well, we can't really do that, um, so we'll just do something like that, but that doesn't cover every citizen. That way we don't spend a shitload of money on it, and they called that Medicare. That was in like the 60s, okay. And the reason why the government did that of course, it was because there was no other way it could be with the Soviet Union. We couldn't rely on greedy capitalists because the greedy capitalists, they didn't mind if an old lady just died because she had fucking osteoporosis, they'd say. Well, she can't provide us any money, so just let the old hag die. And then, of course, all the moral people, they said, oh, this is terrible. Government, do something. And the government said, well, if, if, I, if I do something, I have to go against my principles. I said, fucking do it. And then, of course, the government was forced to adopt socialist principles again. And then whenever the Soviet Union started building up its arms, the U.S. government had to do the same fucking thing. I mean, can you imagine if the fucking U.S. Um, never adopted any socialist principles? Can you imagine what would happen? I mean, like, here's the thing. Here, here's what would have happened. Um, the U.S. Fuck, uh, wouldn't exist right now. The Soviets would have just kicked the fucking U.S. ass. I mean, uh, you guys know about the, um, the Manhattan Project. The reason why the U.S. was able to develop a nuclear weapon was because the government financed it. The government put a lot of smart men to work to build the fucking atom bomb. It wasn't some private companies that just got together and said, we need to build an atom bomb. No. No, it was the government. Okay? Okay, so the so fucking nukes wouldn't exist if it weren't for, you know, governments. And then, of course, libertarians always use this as, a, as something bad. They're like, oh, nuclear weapons are the worst thing ever. Well, actually, no, nuclear weapons, to be honest, they've actually saved more lives they have claimed life. Um, if you've ever heard the phrase uh, Civis si Pacham Parabellum, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, if you want peace, prepare for war. That's what the phrase means. Okay. You see, the reason why the US and the Soviet Union never fought 
was because both of them had nuclear arms. Uh, if you uh, have nuclear arms, no one is going to attack you because you'll use them against them. I mean, why else do you think India and Pakistan have attacked each other? Because they both have nuclear weapons. Okay, so if Pakistan invades fucking India, then India will nuke Pakistan and then Pakistan will fucking nuke India. So, you know, rather than nuking each other, they just say, okay, we'll continue hazing you, but we won't attack you. Same thing with the USSR and the US. They said, I hate you, but because I have weapons and you, uh, because I have nuclear weapons and you have nuclear weapons, we can't fight each other, so we'll just continue hating each other until one of us collapses. And then, of course, the USSR collapsed, but Russia still kept its nukes. And so now we have a similar scenario with the US and Russia. We hate each other, but we both have nuclear weapons, so we can't really do anything. Well, we'll just try to make you collapse again. And that's what the sanctions and economic warfare. The point is... Um, but the point I was making with the, the bomb, though, is um, that's what keeps America safe. You know, this probably America's greatest defense, nuclear weapons. The reason why Russia won't ever attack the U.S. is because Russia doesn't want a nuclear war. It's the same reason the U.S. doesn't attack Russia. Okay? Now, if we had maintained a small government, like, as I said, there would have never been a Manhattan Project. And if there never had been one, well, the U.S. would, ne would have never gotten nuclear weapons. And if the U.S. never got nuclear weapons, well, then the USSR would have had nuclear weapons. It would have had a nuclear monopoly. And it would have been able to just kick American ass. It would just go to America and just fucking... Just, just fucking wreak havoc. Now, of course, it wouldn't do that. It would just wreak havoc in a way where all the bourgeoisie would be killed off. Because the Soviets... Eh, they don't really seek to kill people. They just wanted communists the world revolution so um, the limit I mean they would have destroyed the US government basically is what I'm saying with ease and if a war broke out they win they would win the US wouldn't have any major weapons to back it up and then today you know all the all the cool US weapons you know the fucking F-16 the F-22 all those really good planes um, the reason why they exist is because the government um, adopted socialist principles. It spent a shitload of money on research and development and developed really good, high quality planes. You see, this is the, the I mean, these planes are so, these are the planes that would have never been created by companies. Companies would have continued making shit and shit and shit and shit. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so basically, my argument here, another you know attack on libertarianism, is by having a weak government, you would be you would be extremely vulnerable to um, foreign governments, foreign countries, especially socialist ones, the powerful ones. They'd be able to kick off easily. If you have a small government, the small government would not be able to resist a big government and it would lose and that's another reason why it doesn't work because foreign governments would destroy your own government and then they'd force you to accept their ideology and so there you go libertarianism the absolute stupidity of libertarianism i know i've mumbled a lot i've probably made myself hard to understand in fact most of this is probably incomprehensible but you know if you listen to this thank you regardless of your political stance i don't care um, thank you for watching farewell